Ghost's economy is really, really fantastic. Now, one thing that's different here is the, the number of Ghosts that we have coming out for TY, uh, but a lot of this push also looks the same. Corrosive Bile is actually connecting pretty nicely. I'm so I'm trying to figure out what the anti air oh, here is here for uh, TY. Well, he's just trying to snipe everything down, but there's great targeting going on by Dark. There's well, no there's just way too many Broodlords. Yeah, it, the thing is, if those snipes go off, he's fine. GG, but just... Yeah. Him again, but that one engagement went well for TY. Now, I don't know if, if, if Dark can actually break this position. He's actually eating a lot of tank shots here. Okay, here we go. Uh, the push is coming in. It's arcing around, harpooning some of those tanks from the high ground. Actually, I think Dark is going to take this fight yeah. and take it handedly. It does look like it. He has to land his Vikings here just to suck up some of this damage. Still a good amount of siege tanks spread out. So you he's know, trading better than it looked like he might. But you know, the, the, the problem is, is uh, well, there's a couple problems. And you get to the point where you have like half the map. Your opponent has half the map. The income's pretty crazy. A lot of way, way, things you can do um, is, is when you have a big fight, you figure out what units you killed, and and then you decide, okay, I'm, I'm going to switch it up and get the exact tech that's going to counter this. And you do that two or three times. An it's example a good way is to play against if, if they go mass Vikings because they killed your Broodlords, you switch into Ultralis, and even if they won the fight, well, they have a bunch of Vikings, that's not good. Yeah. And then you can switch tech again and again and again as you evaluate what they have remaining. You think of it, you right? think of them more as spellcasters, but... Yeah, you know, but I just, guess yeah. having that upgrade, they're going to be pretty good. Yeah. A lot of Liberators being sent out right now, pushing forward. I just, I love the fact that he went mech for a while and switched completely into... Normally, if you go bio, this is oh, your late game comp. Big fungals here on the Ghost. Yeah. This is a lot of gas taken out. Oh my out. god, he's abducting Ghosts as well. This is awesome. Now he's trying to snipe down these Corruptors, but that means the Broodlords are not going to be sniped over here. And we actually have uh, more Hydras on the way. It seems like Dark is pretty confident he can shoot through this area. TY having to pull back right now, making a lot more Ghosts and Liberators. He still has a gigantic, well, not a gigantic bank, but a very good bank. The fight, he's remaking that. It's funny because you wouldn't you wouldn't think it if you haven't played this a lot, but the corruptors are super important because they're actually the thing that's going to yeah. push this all back. Now, these banelings are so important. This is another way you can try to deal with the ghosts. Uh, as we see, the broodlords are continuing to come forward now, and the corruptors wiping out all of these liberators. This is a huge victory here. Oh man! Um, again, with the money they have banked up, they can begin to immediately remake this. But this most certainly um, has been a victory here for Dude, Dark. Anti-armor missile. <laughs> It's funny watching Liberators kill that much with their yeah. plus two attack. You Chiseling away. It's going to get that creep tumor for sure. Oh, see you in hell, creep tumor. That's Push. where all creep tumors go for sure. <laughs> Pushing up is uh, TY. Again, we want to watch the ghosts here. They are doing some great Ooh. sniping there. Nice harpooning. I don't believe we have any infestors in this mix, do we? So there's no way to bungle these. Yeah, that is a big problem. Oh, wow. need that AOE. He just he stopped, stopped almost none of those steady shots. And that's a big issue. That was oh. a lot of damage done at Dark's Army. And we were talking about it before, how his gas is drying up. I have been, we've been talking about this, like, watching TY for years now in these late game scenarios where he just sets up uh, with his Ghosts and his Liberators and Zerg's just fail as a Dark coming up. This should be the last battle, I would say. I think you're right. Okay. Uh, so we see the Hydras and the Banelings coming in. The Corruptors are mowing down these Liberators. Yeah, the the Ghosts are being pulled back. Seriously doing some work right there. The Hydra's coming in, dealing a lot of damage as well. The Ghosts staying alive, though. This is the big problem. A few Banes and one Infestor left over. Let's see what these spells can do. Fungal. He's already fungled Ooh. a few. Oh, my God. Anti-armor upon these Broodlords. But where's that? The 3-3 three, three Ghosts? <laughs> Maybe they he needs to, to actually again. kill him. Two more left. Yeah. That's it. GG. TY takes game two. You know? Yeah. All right. The Hellions are, or excuse me, the uh, Hellbats are now being pushed back with these, with these clouds coming over these tanks. The Hydras are doing a lot of damage, but there's still a large number of tanks in the back break. And I think that's really the, the, the major strategy that we see here um, with these guys as they fight it out is that um, Dark is, even if he manages to win the fight, suddenly TY is gobbled up so many more expansions here and so that's kind of a crazy yeah and crazy Sue, order like let's say that ty wins this sue like is getting so much intel about yeah. how he wants to play tvz right now because ty is using his best stuff you don't oh, slouch sure. against Dark. possible he may neglect goats ghosts in which case maybe an ultra switch would surprise him well i think also having every tech available yeah when you get banks this big 
you never know. Like, it, like you were talking about before, based upon what you kill from your opponent, suddenly you might be able to just remax. Like, if you kill the ghost somehow, oh man, just make a bunch of ultras. Oh, why? Oh my god. Boom! That is a big move right there. Oh my god, the fungal's going out. The bailing's rolling in. Awesome wow. move. Oh my god. Now the dance begins. The Broodlord's coming forward. The ghosts are going to have to go up and use their steady shot here. Oh, anti armor missile. This is. Well, I mean, if you're not going to uh, really attack him. He, does he actually have real anti here, though? I mean, no. the number of Broodlings that can uh, litter the map here, it's kind of crazy. Okay, trying and to get the Corruptors forward. are coming in. I think Dark has the right comp. TY's falling apart, 112 to 190. Oh my god, so many anti-armor missiles. All of the splash damage here could definitely do a Ooh, lot. Oh, go the fungal. That fungal's just crazy. TY's supply just plummeting oh, right Dark now. Oh, Dark is so sick. He's continuing to push through. Fungal's now on the ghosts. Oh, but the ghost's getting a few spells off here as well. Oh, but this is a crazy technical takedown right now. TY still has a bank. He can remake a lot of this. A lot of these uh, steady shots actually starting to get off at this point. His Hellion's doing a great job tanking. Yeah, but it's going to oh be a little God. bit before he has an army out here. Dark is nasty! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the attack coming down here now. At the bottom, it's just so many Broodlords. Is there enough anti-air? All of the gas that TY has spent, a lot of it's gone into these ghosts. These ghosts have to get the right snipes mm. off. TY is no longer mining once again. Having a very hard time actually doing this. Taking out the remaining SCVs, TY with about 10 workers remaining. That, Whoa. well, there's not really that much stuff that actually hits air here. So. Well, the thing is, there's going to be banelings coming in here as well. I think this may be the beginning of the end, Artos. I think Dark's done the impossible, and he's broken what looked to be an impenetrable TY. Yeah. This is pretty crazy. Dark has so much supply right now, very little bank left. If, Look yeah. at how conservative he is with the banelings, too. Uh, he's being very, very careful. He knows that this could actually turn still. It's not over till you've killed the ghosts. Yep. The ghosts uh, just barely not taken out, but there's really nothing else to get in the I'd way. Say it's over now. <laughs> yep. I think that's it. Especially with uh, Ty having one worker left in this entire game. Zark also still with a pretty good amount of supply. All right. That's. This has been a, such a sick game. Yeah. This, this has been, been like a crazy. One. I think the, the most series. epic game we've had here. This season. Uh, to start this off. Yeah, for sure. Really nicely done. And we still have three more best of threes to go after this. So we got a lot oh more fun gosh. tonight. For a little bit, I thought we were like in the fourth or the fifth. I know, right? It feels best like of it. three because it went on this for so long. Match, isn't it? GG. Oh.